Good morning, Michael Map here. I realized that when I did the last video, I didn't go over the, the major indexes charts to kind of show you uh, where we stand on the indexes and why there's some pivotal um, moves uh, that may be coming. Right now, IBD has a stock market exposure at only 20 to 40 percent, um, and major indexes are trading below the 50 day moving averages, which is, you know pretty significant. So let's take a look at the SPY dog wants breakfast. So if we look at the SPY chart here, we have a nice bounce in the pre-market to 506. Uh, yesterday's close was 503 and right now we're trading at 506. You can see the 50 day moving average here, the red line, how we've cut through it. So uh, that's pretty significant on the daily chart and this is the weekly chart so also through there so that's that's the spy and the cues as well you can see here illustration here cut through here we're up two dollars in the pre-market big cut there uh, small caps IWM Probably the worst of the ones because they're really uh, interest rate sensitive. Um, you can see they're further down compared to the other indexes. Um, small caps don't like higher interest rates. So, and the Dow Jones, which is the DIA. Up almost a dollar in the pre market this morning. Um, let's see if it pulls up the chart. can see is through the 50 day so we have to see if we can regain this 50 day it's very important but anyways I wanted to show you uh, I wanted to show you uh, sorry uh, done five minutes so far this morning so pretty busy morning um, I wanted to show you the the uh, charts on the indexes has how they are below the 50 day moving averages which is very important and then gold, um, we can take a look at gold, which is like a non-correlated asset. You can see we've had a nice run here on the gold. Significant, you know, could mean danger, you know, a lot of different things. You can see here it's breaking out. And I think there will be a repricing of gold. Uh, take a look at silver. This is the daily and then the weekly. Kind of a breakout here. So, um, like I said, I, I feel that, that we're going to have repricing of these metals, um, just like houses got repriced when interest rates were low. You know, houses in my neighborhood were, you know, 400, uh, 400, 450. The top I thought was 500. Sold the house across the street for 705. Um, I think that's ludicrous buying a house for that price. I don't know how those people sold the house for 705, but I think that the metals also need to be repriced um, to higher levels, and, and we won't look back. In my opinion, um, the U.S. dot clock they used to put uh, they used to put um, I don't know they still do it. Ah, uh, yeah, they do. So. Here you can see the dollar silver, uh, the dollar to silver ratio five year has has it at fifteen hundred per ounce. Dollar to silver ratio ten year eleven hundred per ounce. Dollar to gold ratio five year twelve thousand six hundred. Dollar to gold ratio nine thousand three hundred. Um, we have dollar supply of. I can't even make that number up. And I want to say it's 332 trillion, I guess. Our US debt is almost at, uh, it's at 34.6 trillion. Uh, debt per taxpayer, 266,000. This is a pretty good uh, website, usdebtclock.org. It's mind-boggling if you look at these numbers. Really, really mind-boggling. Interesting um, little website. Um, take a look at it. 
talks about unfunded liabilities, uh, Medicaid, uh, it breaks down everything, population, housing, uh, auto sales, gold, demand. they have a bunch of stuff here, calculators, energy output, pretty interesting, pretty cool stuff. But I wanted to chime in because I know I mentioned something in the last video about the, the indexes, which is very important. Um, so I wanted to touch base on that. Have a safe day out there. See you in the next one.